In this video, we will learn how to make a flowchart that prints even numbers from 1 to n. Here, 1 and n both are inclusive, where n denotes the user specified upper limit. For example, suppose n is equals to 10. So, we have to print the even numbers between 1 to 10, including 1 and 10. That is 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Let's get going now. To begin the program, we will first create a starting terminator. Now, we will create an input component that accepts the user's upper limit and stores it in variable n. Next, we will declare a new variable i and assign it with 1 in a process box as declaration and initialization is done in the process box. In addition, we will use a decision box to determine whether i is less than or equals to n or not. If i is not less than or equals to n, we will end the program with end terminator. And if the condition in the decision box is true, then we will again check if i modulo 2 is equals to 0 or not with another decision box. If i modulo 2 is not equals to 0, that means the number i is not even. And hence, we will increment i by 1 using a process box. In addition, we will add a loop before the first decision box that will recheck the value of i for each iteration. And if i modulo 2 equals to 0, it means i is even. So, we will print it using an output component. Finally, i is increased by 1 in a process box. And again, a loop is created before the first decision box to ensure that the value of i is rechecked with each iteration. Thus, whenever the value of i is less than or equals to n, it is then passed on to be checked for evenness. And when it exceeds, the program is terminated. So now, it's time to dry run the program to understand the actual workflow. Consider n is equals to 4. Now, as at the beginning, the value of i is 1. Thus, the condition inside the first decision box is true, since 1 is less than 4. Now, i is forwarded to the second decision box. Here, 1 modulo 2 is not equals to 0. As a result, i becomes 2 after incrementation. Again, as 2 is less than 4, the condition in the first decision box is true. As a result, i is passed to the second decision box to determine evenness. In this instance, 2 modulo 2 equals 0. So i, which is 2, is printed. Then i is increased by 1, which becomes 3. Similarly, since 3 is less than 4, the condition in the first decision box is true. Therefore, 3 is sent forward to check the evenness. Here, 3 modulo 2 is not equals to 0. Consequently, i becomes 4 after incrementation. Moreover, as i equals 4, the condition inside the first decision box is again true. That is, 4 is equivalent to 4. Thus, 4 is directed to the second decision box to check the evenness. Here, as 4 modulo 2 is equals to 0, the condition in the second decision box is true and 4 is printed. In addition, i is changed to 5. At this point, as i is equals to 5, the condition in the first decision box becomes false. That is, 5 is not less than or equals to 4 and thus the program terminates. Thank you.